Now that's great news and all, 6 cores for the mainstream with the i7-8700K CPU by Intel, but not many of us can or really want to pay as much for a processor, especially not when its main purpose is gaming. So this is why I'm gonna take a look at what is currently the cheapest Coffee Lake offering, namely the i3-8100 CPU, sporting 4 cores and more or less replacing previous gen i5 processors. Right now one would have to shell out about 135 US dollars for this i3, but is this the right CPU to go for for gaming, especially with AMD's Ryzen 3 out? A stock cooler is included, so there's no need to go out and buy an aftermarket one. Makes no sense, you can't overclock and the cooler is pretty quiet anyway. Spec-wise I can't even remember the last time I was so excited about an i3 processor. But this might be justified since gone are the days of dual core 4 thread i3s. This i3-8100 now comes with 4 cores, doesn't feature hyper threading though. Fair enough, the rest of the specs look promising, just a shame Intel unlike AMD still doesn't allow us to tinker with the multiplier on lower end models. I'll be installing this 8100 into the ASRock Z370 Extreme 4 motherboard and right now this makes absolutely no sense, but I have no other choice for now. The Z370 chipset is meant for overclocking and therefore is more expensive. The i3 on the other hand comes with a locked multiplier, so no overclocking for us. So no one would realistically pair an i3-8100 with an expensive Z370 board. But it is how it is for now, no other options around yet. But does the i3 perform well compared to the Ryzen 3 1200? Yes, absolutely, the i3-8100 is a fantastic little beast. It keeps up extremely well with the overclocked Ryzen 3 1200 when it comes to rendering, but does fall behind a little in the Vegas Pro 14 video rendering test. However, at $135, you probably want to expect some kind of wonder CPU for gaming on a budget, right? And it seems Intel finally made our wish come true. The i3-8100 of the Coffee Lake lineup performs remarkably well in games, easily outperforming the competition that is Ryzen 3 in every game tested. The overall best gaming and rendering CPU right now, pricing taken into consideration, has to be the i5-8400 with its 6 core Course, however. Still you are getting immense gaming power out of this little i3-8100 for your money. It certainly disrupts the Ryzen 3 lineup, even though right now at the time of this video, the Ryzen 3 platform with a B350 board for overclocking does cost a little less than this i3-8100 plus a nonsense Z370 board. Early next year new lower end chipsets by Intel are expected to launch, so one can expect some good deals then. In terms of power consumption, that's a very efficient little processor, draws a tiny little less power than a Ryzen 3 1200 running at stock speeds. And the temperature, well 60 degrees are fine I guess. The stock cooler is very small, hence not the best cooling performance, but the fan is pretty quiet. 
So when just judging the offered CPU performance and current pricing of the CPU alone, the i3-8100 in my opinion compared to Ryzen 3 hands down is the better pick for most of you guys out there that want a game. But the best all-rounder remains to be the i5-8400 right now. Without any doubt I can recommend this Intel Core i3-8100 and because it offers so damn good gaming performance for the money I awarded with gold. And as always, thanks for watching.